The safety net um, covers anything related to your health access. There are those uninsured, those with no health insurance, and those that are underinsured, which could be Medicare, Medicaid, insurances with high deductibles, those that can't afford care otherwise. So the goal is to treat people when they're sick so that they have access to, for prevention to keep them healthy and so that they have that system, that safety net system to keep them where they can work and go to school and be productive citizens in society. Sentara and the Safety Net have a unique partnership in that um, through the support of the Safety Net by Sentara, patients then receive care that they would otherwise need to re come to the emergency room to receive. The problem is they go to the emergency department or they'll delay care until it could have been avoidable that they're hospitalized. Something that could have been easily managed is delayed until it becomes a really big problem. And then it's much more expensive to treat and handle and sometimes with irreversible um, effects. They do not have a physician and they can't afford a physician. They can present to one of these safety net organizations and receive a free or reduced price care. Without that organization, they would need to depend on the emergency department for that care. The safety net organizations also provide dental care, uh, prenatal care, um, also assist with medication assistance. Uh, another, a, a very simple example is that every year, uh, Sentara provides flu vaccine to the Hampton Roads Community Health Center and then we're able to provide that free to uh, around 5,000 patients. Getting folks to receive their care at a clinic outside of the hospital where when they have um, urgent needs or uh, just chronic care needs, they receive those needs there rather than having to come to the emergency department. A trip to the emergency department involves hours of waiting. Emergency departments are already overburdened. We've seen a 10% annual growth rate in emergency department visits uh, over the last several years, and that's not sustainable. If I were to say to you uh, there, that the health safety net was able to treat 225,000 uninsured Virginians last year, that would be something that would probably impress you until you realize that there are 700,000 of those folks who are eligible for health safety net services. So the question is, what happens to the other 70% essentially that aren't seen by the health safety net? They end up in their hospital emergency rooms, but only after their conditions have deteriorated so significantly that they are so sick that they just can't make it any longer. And that is very expensive. That is the most expensive way to get medical care. And of course, to get the care, but the cost is huge, not only for them, but also to the whole healthcare delivery system and the insurance system, because somebody pays for that. And you know who pays for it? those of us who are insured. Those costs are shifted. It ends up being part of the insurance premiums that those of us who are insured pay. And the emergency departments are not a place where patients with chronic problems should be coming for their care because it overburdens the rest of the uh, system. So by the ability to provide that care in a medical home type setting, uh, such as a federally qualified health center or other free clinics, we can avoid that, those, those trips to the emergency department. You know, the, the other advantage of receiving care in the medical home rather than uh, episodic, fragmented care in the emergency department is with the continuum of care, there's a provider that can really also serve as a coach for the, the patient. Take the example of, of a diabetic who will intermittently report to the emergency department for perhaps symptoms of dehydration because their blood sugar is out of control, or they'll present there just because they need a refill on their insulin. They're not getting any assistance in overall long-term management of their diabetes. They're not getting any uh, assistance in, in weight loss uh, or chronic blood pressure control. We have patients at the, at the clinics where uh, once they've been plugged into to the uh, clinic through a safety net program, They've lost 50 pounds, they've been able to come off of their insulin, and uh, really the, the level of care that they need on an ongoing basis it completely uh, has decreased.